She looks so cute. Got the meadow plate for Lilligan. I love her. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligan. You saved Arizu as well. I appreciate it. First Us Ursa Luna and now Lilligan? You're amazing, you know that? Being all frenzied didn't suit Lilligan one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. Lily? Arizu, you still own some, someone apo an apology. Huh? Ah, oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in Salacian Ruins? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. Imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sino itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain someone helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arizu. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know we we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokémon. It's our job, uh, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Caliba wrapped up er, wrapped it up all so nicely. Just one more thing, Arizu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training, if anything. If anything else happens to Lilligan, I need to be ready. I need to be, I need you ready to protect her, like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Maryland safe, Arizu. I'll be sure to inform Irita that both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team helped save Ursa Luna. You did well, Masu. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it, it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I be on my way. Listen, you don't know me. I'm Adaman, the leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we live we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Masu. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. What happened, Lilligant? How'd a kind-hardened Pokemon like you ended up fren all frenzied, huh? Thought it's not... Though it's not like I'm perfect. I hide things and, and lied and couldn't even help you keep you safe. I'm really sorry and everything. Lil D? What did, you, what did you just call me? Okay. That Lilligant is really, really cute. I still think OG Lilligant looks better, though. It's not a competition. It's not a competition. But she won. <laughs> Alright. Um, I, we don't have access to Basque Legion yet. I would love to be able to go to Lake Valor and go here, but that's probably way later. Why am I doing this? Wait, can I fast travel from here? No. Ah! GG is right, Merlin. You're a real wonder. I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning the lightning that frenzied these Pokemon. But you do. Y you just go on rescuing them. But you. You just go on rescuing them without even a hint of temp... Temper... Temperidation. 
you might have even you might have even changed the entire course of history here in Hisui. And I definitely want to be good in the books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Found her by the scent of the mo my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come to the diner later. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. Okay. Wanda made it back home safe. Boy, am I ever glad I asked you. You're just as good as everyone says you are. Wanda's still to the new to the security corp, you understand, but she's a bit flighty at, at the best, at the best of times. So I can't help but worry about her. If it's not if it's not asking too much, do you think you could continue to keep an eye on her? Oh, stop it, Zeke. You're embarrassing me. I just got unlucky this time. That was all. That's what you'd have me believe, but ever since we were kids, the instant I took my eyes off you, you'd be lost somewhere in the bushes. Well, anyway, Masu, I do appreciate all your help, so thank you from me, too. I'm trying not to blast through the game, but I, I just want to explore and look for new Pokemon and stuff. And get modes of transportation. You've successfully calmed Lilligant. Excellent. There may be, there may well be times when the Galaxy Team will be forced to fight against Pokemon. But is, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space and time. Their frenzies are in induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from the same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are behind are beyond impugning impugning Impu impugin. Here you go, piping hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. This game proves that potatoes are the greatest food ever made. Now this is the life, huh? Enjoying potato mochi with friends, sharing the, the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could have asked for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, or with carving out a life here? Ah oh, well. Here's a flashy new recipe to try, Masu. It's for an item that should help you scatter the these gloomy thoughts. Scatter bangs. Come on now, don't worry yourself, your, yourself so, my girl. My, a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you'll find your way. These words were worth taking to heart. As long as you, we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete the Pokedex of our of our own someday. The next, the next day. Morning, sleepyhead. Are we going to finally get new hairdressing stuff? You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser's shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own Now I'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still going going to be little against warden and all. I'll be burning the candle on both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Masu. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am pleased that you found a worthy successor to your establishment, Edith. M Mr. Kamado, sir, uh, 
So the whole Ursa Luna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you come you're from. Welcome, Arizu. And you, Masu, you come with me. To Prelude Beach. These people have just arrived here in Hasui. They will live together with us in Juvelife Village. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Perlude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard of the Hisui region is we heard the, that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. Bosley? Kochika? But we've also heard that the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokémon and uses their serious power to help Juvelice Village grow. Indeed. You must... You must have heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached you, your ears largely thank to Masu here, one of our Survey Corp recruits. Though the combined efforts of all our team members let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. The advancement of the understanding of our understanding of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corp has expanded. The areas where we are we operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Masu. You truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I do. Uh, Pokemon have gone, have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy Team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose this is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imper impertinent, imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live along them or alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Juvelite Village. Commander? I read it from the Pearl Clan has arrived. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Masu, you should see yourself how... You should see for yourself how Jubilife Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corp's efforts. Then come to my office. Okay. That's very ominous threats from the commander. Uh, let's get some hairstyles done. <laughs> With our very few money we have, we need to go out and catch some things. Grab yourself a seat. So, what'll it be? We have... Uh, this now? Yo. Side parted? Me. Curly braids? Still no, like... Eh. It's not really any cool stuff. We can get pink hair. We can get blue, crimson, white, black, gold, slate. I mean, we could always go pink. I think I'll stick to... I think I'll stick again and waste more money. Every time. <laughs> they gave us, like, one... Or, no, they gave us two new hairstyles, but they didn't... I just... They don't look good, in my opinion. Nothing is better than this default hairstyle so far. Drop by again anytime, and I'll keep my polishing my skills. Please figure out new things. Hello again, valued customer. You've arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid Tiao Hua is refusing to do business with me again. 
He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him again? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring three pop pods as a token of goodwill. Perhaps after this he'll accept he'll actually accept me. And look for Teddy Urisa or something. I commend you for your on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Marylands. Your next orders is are to begin the survey of Cobalt Coasts. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coasts. Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the lord called home. Used to call his home. We have also received word you from both the security corp and the supply corp. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while not while out gathering materials around Firespit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan can't tolerate this desecration of our late, late lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastland, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Okay. I'll, I'll meet you in coastland, Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's as it's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm so I'm sorry, Masu. Think nothing of it. Masu is a talented, hardworking member of Galactic Galact Galaxy Team. I'm sure he'll be he'll sort things out. Indeed, Masu quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. The next area you, for you to investigate, will be Cobalt Coastland. It's a farther, a f it's a, it is farther a field than the Crimson Marylands, much farther. And the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission: investigate Firespit Island. All right. Are we going to be fighting someone? Ah, uh, if it isn't Masu. Thought I suppose it... Though I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands? Paulina's currently in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden. And yet she has no noble to see. There are even some people in Pearlclad that speak ill of her, though not f to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I should be airing. I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, lad, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokémon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious powers. With the right stones, you can evolve some Pokémon. You need to look. You need. No, look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. Hmm. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Server Corps want to learn all of these, all there is to know about the Pokemon in this region, that the stones that you find throughout Hisui are very important. There's every, there's even a tale of a stone that contains a power of creation, the same power as Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind the fact into you here, I'll give you s some rather hardy stone handy stones and things I found. Grit pebbles, sack of gravel. And should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. Okay, let's double check. Brain cake set? No, I don't. I also. Oh, I have no fucking money. Never mind. I keep forgetting that I'm broke. Aff. Oh, it's all the way over there. I'm excited, man. Ugh. 
what's this new place going to be like? Is there anything I'm going to want to catch? Hmm. Oh, this is probably where we can find, um, Piplup. As the Cobalt Coastlands is simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you are just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've, you've got a mission to accomplish. So any questions before we start? About that warden. Wardens, in fact, here in the Cobalt Coastlands, you'll find Paulina of the Pearl Clan and Iskin of the Diamond Clan. Perhaps they will be some help to you as you dig into the curious occurrences. Okay. I love the flute. It feels as if the tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. You who have set the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. Glaceon, what's up? Glaceon, Eve. Yo, what the fuck? She's double teaming me! You know what? Strong style. Flame wheel on the Glaceon! Take her out, one fell swoop! And all that leaves is the Eevee, you fool. Leaving a defenseless child to fight your battles. I feel better. The world is vast, and uh, I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. All right. With you, I think you can be. F I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander. But true, in truth. I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burden I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Paulina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We proved to we proved to we strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord heirs would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Le Lena's naysayers. I don't know anyone to I'd trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the head headland. Head down this hill and turn left. 
You should find a slope leading on onto the ridge. Alright. Um... 